We'll call the regular meeting in the New Alm City Council for July 5th, 2016, 5 p.m. to order. First item on the agenda is consent agenda items. What's your wish? I'll offer a motion to approve those. Second. We got a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda items. Any discussion on any? Seeing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. Motion carries. We'll go item 2A, consider resolution to direct that only the title and summary of the ordinance number 16-009 fifth series be published. It's very lengthy, very lengthy. I will offer the resolution uh, and waive uh, the reading uh, determining uh, that the publication of the title and the summary of the ordinance uh, is, uh, it would be enough to clearly inform the public of the intent and the effect of the ordinance. I mean, it, it's all that stuff is very, very technical, uh, and I don't think it really would mean any mean much to anybody who's opening up the back of the journal to, you know, to um, read all that technical information. So that's why I'm offering that resolution. Second. We got a motion and a second offered resolution. Waived reading. Any more discussion? Seeing none, finance director, please call the roll. Councilor Fisher? Yes. Councilor Mack? Yes. Councilor Schultz? Yes. Councilor Webster? Yes. President Schmitz? Yes, motion carries. Item 2B, consider an ordinance amending section 9.04 of the city code of the city of New Ulm relative to zoning of said in said city. Number one, second reading of ordinance number 16-001, fifth series, and a motion to adopt ordinance number 16 dash Zero one zero fifth series. I'll offer the motion. Second. We got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Are we going to waive the second waive the reading? reading and adopting it, the ordinance? Correct. It's an ordinance. It's not a reading. It normally would. Excuse me, Mr. President, Councilor. Would okay. normally would require a second <coughs> reading unless you would oh. decide to waive it. Okay. Waive the reading, and um, offer the motion. Adopting the ordinance. Uh, ordinance sixteen. 010 fifth series amending section 9.04 of the city of city code of the city of New Ulm relative to the zoning in said city. And second. second. We got a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Seeing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. Motion carries. Item 3A. Consider resolution approving the license agreement and authorizing the city manager to sign an agreement with Daryl and Nathan Burrow to access the partial of land behind Nuam Public Library Garage. I'll offer the resolution. I'll second that. We with, got a motion. Yeah, with thanks to Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Burrell for uh, caring about how the back of their lot looks and agreeing to trim and remove weeds and take care of the property. I agree, I think it's a great idea. Yep. yep. Okay. We got a motion and a second offer the resolution. Any more discussion? Seeing none. Finance Director, please call the roll. Councillor Fisher? Yes. Councillor Mack? Yes. Councillor Schultz? Yes. Councillor Webster? Yes. President Schmitz? Yes, motion carries. Item 3B, consider motion authorizing the use of handgun shooting blanks during the Bavarian Blast Parade. Oh, why not? I'll move. <laughs> and, uh, it it went fine last year. You know, you might remember yep. we spent about 45 minutes. I learned more about blank guns than I ever <laughs> want to know. But there, I don't think there were any problems. So I'll uh, I move that we authorize the uh, uh, use of these uh, uh, old-style uh, revolver shooting blanks uh, in the Bavarian Blast Parade. I'll I second the motion, and I agree. I was I remember very clearly one, because I think it was one of my complaints, but... Uh, there was no issues, and they really weren't much of a pop. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it was more just. But I think we made the right a decision. Learning, we, just, had, mm, we had know, to look at a safety for our mm -hmm. fair attendees, and I think it was the right decision last year. But it went fine. So I support it. You know, Good. I'm glad they came back. And yep. Any more discussion? Seeing none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Item three C. Consider resolution establishing two permit parking stalls on State Street adjacent to 600 North State Street. I guess I, I would like a little more information if we have done this in the past or what criteria we set if we do authorize this. Um, Who wants it? Steve? Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair and Councilors, 
We have some uh, permit parking down on South Payne Street across from the ISD 88 high school area. I'm aware of that particular situation. I think I talked to Mr. Curry. There might be one more instance such as this. We don't have any kind of written policy with regard to this. We kind of take them as, a, as an ad needed basis. Um, it's not really a safety issue, so I didn't schedule it through the city, uh, the safety commission. Um, I guess it is on a corner lot or corner parcel, so there's parking on the side street as well. There's somewhat of a slope on that particular roadway. Um, there is a church and a school right across the street, so I can understand that there's probably a lot of parking in that particular block, and the homeowners probably at times are frustrated to not be able to park in front of their home. So um, we just, the city manager's office received the letter and we put it on the agenda for your consideration. If you want us to get some more information uh, relative to, to that, we could as well. We had done something very similar to this over by the hospital where there's a lot of yeah. off-campus parking and this person was, you know, handicapped and said, you know, I this is how I get into my house, right, and through the front. And so it's very, very similar to what we've done in the past. Um, Mr. President, I, I think, uh, however, that this person is requesting not one uh, permit uh, parking only signed for her uh, disabled son, but she's asking for two. And I, I don't think we've had a situation before where someone is asking for two, two reserved spots. I think that's that's something that really sort of stuck out for me. Mm -hmm. And we have handicapped parking across the street also, correct? Because of the church? Is there parking in front of the church that's handicapped? Yeah, probably would be. I, well, um, that, um, I think Just the church is often quite busy. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. especially where for funerals and, mm -hmm. you know, events of that sort of thing. And so this isn't really a handicapped parking, it's permit only. Um, it, down at Jefferson, uh, the uh, uh, it, is is it just is it one spot or two? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. President, I guess I'm not certain. I I I think it's several that are permit parking, and as I understand it, they go to the police department to to get their permit for the particular well, parking. Excuse me, I wasn't clear. Was it one per household or or one? Oh, uh, I'm I'm not I'm certain. Not really I just sure. don't know. Do we know on the disability, do they prove it the disability? I mean, is it, are they disabled because right. they got a broken leg right now and they can't walk, or is it a long-term disability? They have do we ever ask for that, or do we? I have not, we just, we just put, put the letter it. on okay. the Or if the they agenda. have like a handicap you know, sticker for the know, car. You know, I know who this individual is, and, and of her son, you know, and he's got a handicap sticker right. and, a, and a permanent disability okay. on that nature. And, you know, she had once contacted me about a half a year ago and asked me a question and I you know, directed her to City Hall here mm -hmm. in regards to okay. when that time comes and, and I just said can you live with it or you know if it's mm -hmm. that bad but you know you can always ask as mm -hmm. I stated. Hmm. Mm. And looking on the map, it looks like she the, has the only property that does has no off-street parking. Everybody else Correct. has got a garage um, or, or somewhere alley else access. to park. An alley access. She has no alley access, corner lot. Um, and, and a busy neighborhood with the church <coughs> and the school. And then right. part of me always says, you bought the property knowing that. Correct. That, I mean, I don't know how long she's lived there, but. And it might be a case her son may not be there for forever mm -hmm. either. Is it possible maybe we try it for two years or have her reapply, you know? I like that. Approve. Yeah. I still, I'm kind of with Councilor Webster. I'm not sure if I want to approve two spots or one. I kind of feel the same way. I think one would certainly on out front would be reasonable. You know. you know, they have the side street that they could park on, you know. Do we have any city issues if we do give it a two-year time limit? It has to be renewed in front of us. No, I think it's totally okay, discretionary right? with the council. Okay. I'll offer that motion then to approve one parking spot um, for a two-year time permit to re be renewed in two years. And it's on State Street, adjacent to uh, 600 North State. Yes. Right. Okay. 
I'll second that. We got a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Seeing none. All in favor? Oh, it's a resident. We got a motion and a second to waive reading. Approve the resolution. Any discussion? Seeing none. Finance director, please call the roll. Councillor Fisher? <coughs> yes. Councillor Mack? Yes. Councillor Schultz? Yes. Councillor Webster? Yes. President Schmitz? Yes. Motion carries. Item 4D, consider receiving and approving a draft of a preliminary offering statement regarding the $3,205,000 general obligation permanent improvement revolving <coughs> fund bond series 2016A. Reggie? Okay. President Schmitz and Council, uh, this is the uh, new normal, I guess, that we need to go through each year. Uh, we, uh, it didn't used to be that we had to approve uh, the preliminary offering statements, but uh, uh, we now do. So uh, basically, I'll be having a uh, phone conference call with Moody's tomorrow, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, along with our financial analyst, uh, John Burmeister and uh, regarding our bond sale in two weeks. So mm -hmm. uh, the bonds will be sold uh, July 19th and we'll be uh, at that meeting and approved that night, hopefully, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll move that we receive and approve the draft of the preliminary offering statement for the uh, uh, general obligation uh, revolving fund bonds uh, for our construction projects in uh, 2016. Second. We got a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Item 3E, consider a motion to approve appointment of election judges for the 2016 preliminary, or primary and general elections. I'll move it. Second. We got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Well, again, thank you for these folks for working hard for $9.50 an hour. You know, <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a lot more important. It's important. Mm -hmm. No more discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Right Item 4A consider acceptance of list of claims paid and approve a list of claims to be paid. List of claims paid in the amount of $6,308,024.98 and to be paid in amount of $975,595.71. I'll move it. I'll second. We got a motion to second. Any discussion on any? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. With no more business, we'll adjourn until this work session. Go eat. Go eat. Go eat. Back at 6 o'clock. Back at 6 o'clock.